All right, so what we have here is a uh, power sweeper, power boss. It's a Ford LP gas engine. It's made for indoor, outdoor. As you can see, the tires have they're treaded on that. Cole, explain to us what these three uh, cylinders are. Well, this is your fill tank. This is be your Speak clean, up. This is going to be your clean water tank along with soap you can mix into it. It's going to be your dirty water tank for when it's sucking stuff up and squeegeeing off the floor. So dirty water. Clean water, dirty water. Clean water, dirty water. What's this one? Which one? Center one. That's going to be your dirty water empty and that's going to be your dirty, or your clean water empty, your dirty water empty. Clean water empty, dirty water. Okay, what's this it's gonna one? It's going to be your fill. It's going to be the same thing. They're all in one tank. Oh, they're all one tank? These two are one tank. This one is one tank. Okay, two so tanks whole, two tanks there, one tank there, all right? This is going to be your fill port. Your fill port for what? For your clean water. For your clean water. That's going to be your level to be able to check to see how, how much water is in your dirty. You can still open it up and be able to see, flush it out, clean it out throughout there. On the front, going up it. All right, so so you fill the stuff up top here, you empty it out down here. Yep. All right. You can also hook up a hose to another truck so that you can actually keep going with water and have it so you can just hook it up and so let you, it just keep pumping through. So you can have a full-time hose in there yep. with the water going in. Okay, FYI, the tank's not included, but we can sell it. Sits in there nicely. Okay. Fit any big or small tank. It can run, okay, so it can run the compact tanks or the full size uh, tanks. Alright. So. This is going to be your catch for your sweeper, your dry sweeper. So this is a dry sweeper up front. Yep. That's your catch, everything yep. in there. Clean up anything that's on the lot. And what, you pull those handles out and you can access it. Ah, the whole thing comes out, you dump that out. Got it. Alright. So you can run it as a wet scrubber dry, or dry vac, a dry vac, right? Yep. All right. So show me where are the controls. Draw on and off. On and horn. off. Horn. Your hours. Hours are at 1380. And your water temp, oil pressure, and your amp meter. So water, oil pressure. What are these over here? It's going to be all your switches. It's going to be your control for your water. Control for your water. How much you're going to put in or... How much you're going to put in or out, okay. Uh, this is going to be for your squeegee. You can lower it down, push up a button, it lowers itself down and it floats on its own. So the squeegee will float on its own, on its own. and you lower it or raise it on a button. For your scrubber, you can go ahead and how deep you're going to scrub into the ground just by lowering it down more. Okay, so that's a manual... Can, I mean, it's electric, but you manually control how yes. low it goes or how high it goes, okay? You can see it from the meter right here. It'll actually fluctuate all the way down into the red. All the way down in the red is going to actually make it so it's almost all the way on the floor. That means your scrubbers are on the floor. Okay, so that meter almost... there tells you if your scrubbers are on the floor. Yep. Okay. Does it tell you your water level? Hold on a sec, go to semi truck. Okay, go ahead. It'll tell you your water levels. Solution tank is empty. Uh, your recovery tank full. Okay, so, those are indicators on water levels. Yep. Nice little cup holder. I uh, got a little <laughs> cup holder there. Okay. Get your impeller for. Uh, that's going to be for the under ones for your scrubbers. This is going to be for your brush. Okay, so your scrubbers, then your brush. That's going to be your power for your brush. Just push it forward. Power. Push it back. Okay, all right. Your level of how far you want it to be, normal is going to be right here. And to float off the ground so it'll actually go. Oh, there's in. another lever, all right. Yep. So we got that. So raise, all right. Then you got your lights, lights. up here. Lights all right, up. kick it up. You have your throttle position right here. Your turtle. Oh, uh, there's your throttle position over there. Running it, you want to have it on the top because it'll fluctuate. Not if you're going up a hill or not, it'll give it a little bit more. 
starts bogging down the motor, it'll actually make the motor pick up higher. All right, drive her around, see what she does. Oh, uh, there's a lock. There's a brake lock on it. Stop it down. It releases. Right. Lock it. Push it down. Roll your tow forward. All right, got it. And off she goes. And there was a little piece of garbage right there. He scooped it all up. Really, this thing is an excellent machine. Works perfect. Fully maintained. Works indoor and outdoor. Thanks, Skull. And a horn.